morning, everyone. Today we're going to read Read Me a Story, Stella. And I turned my background off today because I think we might end up with a visit from Oliver. So <laughs> I thought I would give him a chance. He hasn't been in a story in a long time. All right, so Read Me a Story, Stella. So I'm going to share my screen. Stella called Sam, look what I found. Those are really nice branches, said Stella. Are you going to build a nest? I'm not a bird, said Sam. I'm building a doghouse for Fred. I'm sure Fred will love that, said Stella. Why are you laughing, Stella, asked Sam. This book is so funny. It tells you how to make soup with stones, how to teach your cat to fly, and what to do if a wolf knocks at your door. Oh, there's Oliver. Would you like to learn to fly? <laughs> Does your book tell you how to build a doghouse, asked Sam? No, said Stella, but I can help you. There, it's finished. Isn't it beautiful, Sam? Do you think a wolf could blow Fred's doghouse down, asked Sam? A tornado couldn't blow this house down, said Stella. Isn't a wolf stronger than a tornado, whispered Sam. Maybe we should have used bricks. Maybe we should have a picnic at Lily Pond, said Stella, after all this hard work. Look, Sam, the first dragonfly. We must be very close to Lily Pond. Are there crocodiles in the pond, asked Sam, or rhinoceroses? The pond is way too tiny, answered Stella. Crocodiles and rhinoceroses need a lot of water to swim in. I like tiny ponds, said Sam. So does Fred. Are there any frogs in that book? Asked Sam. No, said Stella, but there is a big old toad wearing a velvet jacket. Do you want me to read this story to you? Not right now, said Sam. I'm trying to catch a frog. Is he wearing a velvet jacket too? Asked Stella. Yes, said Sam, a green one. This caterpillar is so soft and wiggly, whispered Sam. Here's a picture of a caterpillar in my insect book, said Stella, before he became a butterfly. Caterpillars become butterflies, asked Sam. How do they do that? They go to sleep for a long, long time and dream about flying. I'm going to try that tonight, said Sam. Do you think he would like to live in our garden? Why not, said Stella. Let's take him home. Look, Stella, I'm teaching Fred to fly a kite. Run like the wind, Sam, said Stella. You too, Fred. He did it, cried Sam. Fred is flying the kite all by himself. Uh-oh, said Stella. I guess Fred shouldn't have barked. Oh, kite flew away. Will the kite get caught in a cloud, cried Sam. Will he get burned by the sun? Kites know their way around the sky, said Stella. They ride the wind until they find their way home. I'm gonna put the caterpillar next to this ladybug, said Sam, so they can be friends. It's time to water the garden, said Stella. The plants and flowers are very thirsty. Don't water my caterpillar, Stella, said Sam. He doesn't like getting his stripes wet. Whoops, said Stella. Looks like everybody got watered, even the ladybug. How long does it take for carrots to grow, asked Sam. When did you plant the seeds, asked Stella. This morning, but the rabbits look hungry now. <laughs> it's a lot of rabbits waiting for those carrots. I'll read them a poem, said Stella, while they wait for the carrots to grow. Can you read it to me too, asked Sam. Of course, said Stella, listen. White fluffy rabbits are running by like clouds in a grass green sky, looking for carrots to bake the pie. Stella, said Sam, that cloud looks like a rabbit. Is he looking for a carrot, asked Stella. Yes, said Sam. Why are you reading upside down, Stella, asked Sam. I'm reading a story about a bat, said Stella. I just want it to feel like one. Do bats read upside down, asked Sam. Bats read upside down, right side up or sideways, answered Stella. Bats just love to read. Like you, said Sam. Like me, said Stella. 
The bats also like to swoop and glide through the night, added Stella. Ooh, there's the moon, whispered Sam. Where did it come from? The moon always rises when bats beat their wings, said Stella. Shall we put Fred to bed in his new doghouse, Sam? Asked Stella. Fred's gonna sleep in my room tonight, said Sam. He said he might sleep in his doghouse tomorrow. Are you reading, Stella? Whispered Sam. Yes, said Stella. Fred can't sleep, said Sam. Could you read a story to me and Fred? Of course, said Stella. Once upon a time, read Stella, there was a little boy. Was his name Sam? Asked Sam. Yes, said Stella, and his best friend was a small brown dog. <laughs> Stella's a good big sister, isn't she? She plays with Fred and she reads him stories and tells him things. So I like to read their stories. I think they're a lot of fun. So I don't know, do you have a, a big sister or brother or a little sister or brother? Do you play with them? Oh, that's good. All right, I hope you have a great day, friends. And I'm glad Oliver made a, a short appearance anyway. <laughs> All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.